people don't take enough. That's all. Uh, you know, I mean, people are confused about what's going on. First of all, uh, taking psychedelics has a certain measure of, of chicness about it. Well, everybody wants to be chic, but, and you can get into the club merely by saying you took it. But you don't want to lie like a dog. So the way to get into the club without paying your dues is to take some piss and amount and then run around raving about that. Uh, so when we talk about the psychedelic experience, it's not clear we're all talking about the same thing. It's sort of like talking about France. And you have the people who changed planes in the airport and the people who moved there for 30 years and learned the literature and got a job and married the locals. So uh, the, the way to do psychedelics is, uh, I believe, at higher doses than most people are comfortable with and rarely and with great uh, attention to set and setting. Uh, the social use of psychedelics in the club scene or, or at rock and roll concerts and so forth, I mean, when I go to those kind of scenes, I just smoke pot. I don't, uh, because I want to be part of what's going on, I want to have a good time, but I would, you would be nuts to take a major psychedelic in that circumstance. Uh, Socially dense environments filled with light and noise are a strategy for coming down. You know, I mean, if you took a drug you didn't like, the smartest thing to do would be to jog around the block ten times and then chop a, a bunch of wood. Uh, very similar to dancing your ass off, in other words. So uh, the way I recommend doing psychedelics is uh, in silent darkness and with as little input from other people as possible. I mean, I say alone, if you are experienced, if you're really confident, just alone, for crying out loud. If that gives you pause, and you must have a sitter, and let's use the word sitter, not guide. My God, nobody's guiding you anywhere. They have no more notion where you are than, you know we know where Judge Carter is at this point. Uh, so the sitter, and my idea of the perfect sitter is, you know, you have a little Tibetan bell by your side, and the sitter is three rooms away, and if you need the sitter, you ring the bell, they stick their head in the room and say, it's cool, lay down, and, you know, do that. 